His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today sent a cable to the French President Francois Hollande in which he offered profound condolences and consolidation over the victims of the terror attacks that targeted Paris on Friday night and left many innocent people dead or injured. His Majesty the King expressed the kingdom's strong condemnation and uh, denunciation of such terror attacks, offering warm and condolences to the families of the victims and wished the wounded speedy recovery. His Majesty King Hamad asserted that such a criminal act contravenes all divine religions and human values, expressing Bahrain's solidarity with a friendly France during such a difficult time and support for all measures it takes to combat and eradicate terrorism. His Majesty the King stressed Bahrain's unwavering support to the international community's efforts to fight terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today sent a cable to the French President Francois Hollande in which he offered sincere condolences and a consolation over the victims of the terror attacks that targeted Paris on Friday and left many innocent people dead or injured. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed the Kingdom of Bahrain solidarity with the French government and the families of the victims wishing the wounded a quick recovery. His Royal Highness reiterated his condemnation of such terror attacks in which he said targeted innocent uh, civilians and contravenes all human values. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a similar cable to his French counterpart Manuel Valls. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today sent a cable to the French President Francois Hollande in which he offered profound condolences and consolation over the victims of the terror attacks that targeted Paris on Friday and left many innocent people dead or injured. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince reiterated his strong condemnation of such terror attacks targeting innocent civilians, wishing the wounded speedy recovery. The Kingdom of Bahrain has strongly condemned the terrorist attacks that rocked the French capital Paris, leaving many deaths and injured among innocent victims. In a statement, the Kingdom offered sincere condolences and consolation to the Republic of France, its people and the families of the victims wishing swift recovery for those injured as a result of the heinous terrorism act that contravenes all religions, teachings and faiths as well as human values and ethics. The Kingdom of Bahrain reiterated its solidarity with the friendly Republic of France and backed all measures to be taken by France to liberate the hostages, bring the perpetrators to justice and consolidate security and stability across its territories. The Kingdom reaffirmed its firm stance in denouncing all forms and manifestations of terrorism, regardless of its motives, justifications or those behind it. Good evening and welcome to the Sports News on Bahrain TV. Friday was the final race day of the first round of the 2015-16 Bahrain Drag Race Championship held at BIC's World Cast Quarter Mile Drag Strip. The series had begun organized and run by Bahrain Drag Racing Club in cooperation with the BIC and Bahrain Motor Federation. Drivers battled it out in 13 categories, 10 for cars and 3 for motorbikes. The car categories are the Street 4 and 6, the Outlaw Front Wheel Drive, the Super Street 6 Cylinder, the Outlaw 6 Cylinder, the Street V8, the Super Street V8, the Competition 4.5, the Outlaw 10.5, the Pro Mod and Index 10.5, and the bike classes are the Street Bike, Super Street Bike, and Pro Bike. The new season is set to feature five rounds to be held until March next year. Round two is set from December 15th to 18th. 